There's a reason why people describe this sensation of burning with pepper spray. I want to show everyone exactly what happens to the body because it's called pepper spray for a very simple reason. The active ingredient is from chili peppers. Chili peppers, that's, that's what's causing the pain. Capsaicin is the element in peppers that is so hot. So what happens is you're exposed to really intense concentrations of capsaicin in the pepper spray, basically tells your nerves, we're on fire here. So whether you're eating it or sprayed with it, every sensation is, I am on fire. My face is burning. We've seen people get, they get so red after eating. They literally feel like they're on fire. The minute, now, and this is really important, the pepper spray is super concentrated capsaicin. That's why it has such immediate effects. So it's sprayed into the eyes. Immediately, you have to close your eyes. You want to protect yourself. You'll see dilation of the blood vessels as you get red. You can't open your eyes, like David said, for 45 minutes because of the excruciating pain. As you breathe in the pepper spray, inflammation occurs almost immediately, those airways making it difficult to breathe. I mentioned the dilation of the blood vessels because your body's on fire. It's trying to dilate your blood vessels in order to cool off. So this, the effect is immediate. You can't see, you're having trouble breathing, and it's almost an instant state of delirium that you're causing, which is, of course, why it's effective. If an attacker's coming at you, and you spray them with pepper spray, you can diffuse the situation because their ability to do whatever they're doing is compromised. And you know, I've heard reports of people that have had both, pep have gotten pepper sprayed as well as tasered, mm. and they say, the taser is way better, than the pepper meaning spray. that the, they'd rather get tasered a hundred times than get pepper sprayed once. Mm. A lot of misinformation out there about pepper spray. Obviously, it's a real weapon. Here to tell us more about the effects, the safety of pepper, pepper spray is one of the nation's leading authorities, David Nance from Saber Red Pepper Spray. David, welcome to the show. Hello, thank you for having me. It's obviously unnerving to see the reaction when you see people get pepper sprayed and the commotion that results. We've we were talking before the show, there's all these wild reports about people miscarrying, even people dying from pepper spray, which we know is not necessarily true, but tell us about the safety of pepper spray and the dangers. Well, there are a lot of myths, you're absolutely right. It is very safe, and there's been extensive eye tests, skin tests, and inhalation testing done on the product. But as David stated, it is very intense, which is why it's so effective. So what's the advice about ha handling it safely? You want to carry a reputable product, and you want to make sure you know how to carry it, how to hold it, grip it. We recommend deploying it with your thumb so you have a secure grip around the canister so the attacker cannot take it away from you. You want to know how to arm, disarm, where to spray. We recommend contacting the ocular area. That's the most sensitive part of the head. You want to, it causes the involuntary eye closure because pepper is an inflammatory agent, giving you the opportunity to escape as you take away their vision. What's the best thing to do if you get it in your eyes? Just rinse it with water? Absolutely. Other than that, there's really nothing. Rinse, rinse, flesh, rinse. Flesh. If you are accidentally sprayed, get away from the area as quickly mm -hmm. as possible because the fumes kind of waft around. Yeah, you can keep bit, right? inhaling it, which makes it worse. There's, David, those, thank you so much for, for your knowledge today. We appreciate it. One of those protesters was smart and had her swimming goggles on. Yeah, that, yeah. that would have been a good call. We were call. prepared. Well, show pepper spray respect for sure.